This is lab three on the dog. So we are working on the isolated forelimb that you took off after lab two. So you removed your forelimb and this is the isolated forelimb. So this is proximal where the probe is here. And obviously distal is going to be down by the paw. Um, here we're gonna start on the lateral side. So this is lateral and you're starting with deltoideus muscle. So it's kind of a check mark shape, or at least I think it's a check mark shape. Right here, it has these two parts. So this is deltoideus and this is deltoideus. So what you wanna do is clean up the borders of deltoideus and then you're gonna cut across both parts with an incision there and then reflect. And then you're gonna reflect deltoideus this way. So after reflecting deltoideus, then you're looking at infraspinatus muscle. So here's your trapezius, we'll just flip that up. And infraspinatus is this muscle here. So infra, below, spinatus, spine, so below the spine of the scapula. So infraspinatus, and infraspinatus you're going to also transect in the middle and lift it up. And I recommend using a scalpel handle or something like that to go down and push it out like that and scrape it out. Because you're gonna reflect it all the way so that you can see this subtendinous bursa, which is the shiny part here. Hopefully it shows up on the video. But this little shiny area here underneath the tendon of that. So you need to bring it all the way back. So that's a typical mistake is not to bring it far enough and you stop here and you don't see the bursa. So you have to make sure and pull it all the way and see that shininess. Okay, then we have the little teres minor muscle right here, just distal to that infraspinatus, so teres minor. And then we have supraspinatus, so we'll put these back and then reflect the other part of trapezius, the cervical part, and this was omo transversarius. So reflect that and you have supraspinatus, so supra meaning above, spine, again spinatus, so above the spine of the scapula. So supraspinatus, and that actually wraps around the cranial edge of the scapula a little bit here. And then you're going to go to the medial side where we'll see subscapularis, which is this muscle here. You kind of see little serration sort of here, and that's all subscapularis. But this cranial edge is the supraspinatus muscle you're seeing on that cranial aspect. Subscapularis here. Then moving caudally, we will see the teres major. So teres major right here. And with the teres major, you are going to cut that in the distal part of it. So the distal third of the muscle you want to transect and then lift up, reflect that. And then you're looking for a small muscle called the coracobrachialis, which is kind of under that teres major, and coracobrachialis is kind of a spindle shape. So it's right here, outlining it with the probe now. And it has a long tendon that goes up. So you have to open that tendon sheath and see that long tendon. So coracobrachialis. Okay, then we will look at the tensor fascia antebrachii, which was reflected here, but tensor fascia antebrachii this muscle here, very flat and thin. It ties in with where your latissimus dorsi and cutaneous trunchi were coming from. So this is those muscles here, but this is tensor fascia antebrachii. So you just want to clean that up, see it, and then reflect it distally. That will allow you to see your triceps brachii. So from this aspect, we're seeing two heads of the triceps. This head is part of the long head of the triceps and this head is the medial head of the triceps, right here. So there are two other heads, and we're gonna flip it over to the other side, or one, two other heads, yes. So on this side, the lateral side, again, we're seeing part of that long head. The long head is very large, so here's long head from the medial side, caudal aspect, and this is also part of the long head on the lateral side. Then you have to find the distinction between the long head and the lateral head, of the triceps, so find that. And this is the lateral head of the triceps. And just under deltoideus, you're gonna lift up deltoideus again. And this has an aponeurotic origin, so just an aponeurosis here that you wanna cut through and then reflect that lateral head back. So under the lateral head of the triceps, then you'll see the accessory head of the triceps brachii right there. 
All right, and then we'll move down to the elbow region, and we have the anconius muscles. So between the forceps and the probe is the anconius. It kind of is a wedge shape, and it's just covering that elbow joint. So that's the anconius muscle. Then we have brachialis muscle. So we reflected that lateral head of the triceps. We've reflected deltoideus cranially, and under those you'll see this muscle here is brachialis. I always say there's an L in it for lateral, if that helps you, but brachialis muscle right here on the lateral side. Then on the medial side, we'll see the biceps brachii. So here we're reflecting pectorals, so reflect those cranially. This is the medial side. Here we had our subscapularis, our teres major, coracobrachialis, and then just distal to that, you'll see the biceps brachii. So here is biceps brachii. And then you want to uncover uh, the tendon and see that transverse humeral retinaculum. So there we go. So transverse humeral retinaculum right there that's holding that tendon in place. And that should be it for lab three.